Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the game Tekken 8 running on the Apple Silicon Mac. So this is the Windows version of Tekken 8, a direct X12 Windows game running on Apple Silicon hardware. And the performance really isn't too bad, considering the fact that we're running through multiple translation layers. So in this video today, I'm going to show you the full process of how to get this game set up on your Mac. We're going to be using something called Crossover. And this is going to allow us to use the Windows version of Steam to install the Windows version of Tekken 8. We're also going to be running D3D Metal which is part of Game Porting Toolkit in order to run DirectX 12 games on the Mac. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the full process from start to finish, including installing Crossover, getting all of these Windows versions of the game running and getting Tekken 8 running as well as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you click the link and make a purchase, then I'll make a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the content that I create. So once you've clicked on the link in the description, we'll be taken to the store page or you can go to codeweavers.com and click on buy now. I do recommend making a purchase of Crossover Plus, which comes with 12 months support. If you want to get a discount, then make sure to use the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New and just apply here and then you're going to get a 20% discount. Account. And when once you're ready, you can click the buy now button and then you can go ahead and fill out your details. Alternatively, if you want to try this out, you can also go to the Code Weavers website, click the try now button, and then you can fill out these details and get a fully featured 14 day free trial. So that's what we're going to do today. Here we're downloading Crossover 23.5, which is the latest at the time of recording. So once Crossover is downloaded, we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go to our downloads folder. We want to find our Crossover zip file here. So all we need to do is double click. It's going to extract. And then we have the Crossover app here. We're going to drag and drop this and put this into our applications folder. Once that's copied over, we'll click on applications and then we're going to scroll until we find the crossover app. So go ahead and double click. Here it's saying crossover is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open? Press open. So once this is open, we've got the option to install applications and games. So the first thing we're going to do is to download Steam. So click on the Steam icon here, we'll do a search for it. Then we're going to click on install Steam. It's going to download and install Steam into a brand new Windows 10 64-bit bottle. Here we're just going to say yes to installing these various fonts. A lot of progress is going to happen in the background you don't have to click anything in particular. So now we're going to go through the Windows Steam setup. So just click next, select your language, select the default installation. Now we're going to allow this to run Steam. So this is downloading a 300 megabyte update. Just let that finish. So now we have the Steam login screen. We can log in with our username and password, or we can scan the QR code with the Steam app on a smartphone. So now we're logging in and now we're in the Windows version of Steam. And if you want to progress any further, what I'd also advise you to do is to shut down Steam so that we can change some of the graphics settings within Crossover. Basically, we need to quit out of Steam. Press exit here. So now that the Steam bottle has been created, we can just change some settings here. What I advise you to do is to turn on D3D Metal, which is Game Porting Toolkit's translation layer. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on M-Sync, which is a Mac specific alternative to E-Sync. And this is going to help improve performance as well. And once that's ready, we're going to double click on Steam and log in again. And then what we're going to do here is type in the word Tekken, and then we're going to get Tekken 8 here. And then we're going to go ahead and purchase Tekken 8. So once Tekken 8 has released, you're going to be able to download the official version of Tekken 8 here. You can also try the demo, which we're going to be trying today as well. You can also buy the Tekken 8 Steam key for substantially cheaper. I'm going to leave a link in the description for my affiliate link for Games Planet. Just go ahead and add this to cart, and then you can get a Steam key, which you can activate on the Steam client for substantially cheaper than the Steam launch price. And then you can go to games and then add activate a product and then you can enter that key that you receive from Games Planet here and you're going to get the game for much cheaper. So once Tekken 8 is in your library, you can just go to the library button here and then we can click on this and then type in the word Tekken. So here we're going to be clicking on Tekken 8 demo for now because the game's not released yet, but the official game is going to actually install in exactly the same way. Just accept the end user licensing agreement and then we can go ahead and it's going to start this download process. So once it's finished, we're going to come back and then launch the game. This way for that to finish, 27.6 gigabytes at the time of recording. So you can see the game is loaded up and we've got the metal HUD on the top right hand side corner here. If you want to find out how to get this frame rate counter up, then make sure to check out the link in the description. So it's saying here that the demo provides a partial experience of the full game. Press OK here to continue. So logo is now loading up and this is loading correctly. So now we're in the main menu here, I do recommend using a controller to play the game. So here I have a DualSense wireless controller attached. If you want to find out how to pair a Bluetooth controller, make sure to click the link in the description for how to do this and attach this to the Mac. You can see here that basically we can control all of the inputs using the controller. So here I'm going to press accept and then continue the game. So I'm just going to set up my controller using DualSense and then confirm and exit. 
So I'm getting a nice benchmark score with my N3 Max, and then we're gonna play the game. So here I'm running the game on the very powerful M3 Max chip, and this is gonna be run on the ultra quality preset using AMD FSR 2 quality mode. So the game pretty much runs at 60 FPS, which is pretty impressive considering the number of translation layers involved. We are running Windows to Mac OS, we are running DirectX 12 to Metal, and it's all being piped through Rosetta 2. So that's x86-64 to the ARM CPU architecture. So personally, I'm very happy with this performance because we're finally able to get a high-end DirectX 12 game like Tekken 8 working pretty well on the Apple Silicon Mac, especially as this is a high-end AAA release. Anyway, I hope you found this video tutorial useful. I've got lots of other Windows gaming on Mac tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.